Hello, everyone. Uh, today we have with us uh, none other than uh, Devashish Mukherjee, who's the Vice President of Sales, APJ for Sonic Wall. Devashish is a seasoned and accomplished leader who holds diverse sales, business and partner leadership experience in the IT industry. He brings a global and cross-cultural work experience from both India and the Gulf. And he holds an MBA from the New Delhi Institute of Management with a specialization in marketing and is also a graduate in science. So today, Debashish is going to talk about the SASE market, the secure access service edge landscape in India and globally. So without further ado, let's get into a quick chat with Debashish. Hi, Debashish. First of all, welcome to the Digital Tech Media quick uh, interview session. Thank you so much for having me here. I think it's a great opportunity for me to talk to the broader client, uh, the customers and talk about SASE. I think, yeah, Absolutely. definitely love to do that. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, you know, Devashish, the first thing that we'd like to understand is, you know, why is SASE relevant for companies today? Why do you think it makes sense for businesses? Yeah, so this is a very interesting thing which is happening from last couple of years, uh, uh, probably the during COVID and post COVID, what we have seen now, the people are working from home or working from anywhere. So, so this is the new concept when, uh, you know, people earlier, uh, the gone out those days when people used to sit at one place or within the perimeter or within the physical boundary. So it was, uh, it was, everything was digitally secure. Now the situation is slightly different. The, the technology is changing. People are working from anywhere. So securing their their network, their assets is important. With this in mind, I think what is happening is technically, if I tell you the what is happening, of course, it's a generic statement. Technically, what is happening is it's a convergence of security and networking into a single service native cloud architecture. So this is technically what is happening. So this is more of a, a networking and security coming closer together in a cloud environment. How it is uh, it is benefiting all of us. It is basically so that it will be simple managing uh, management, simple and everything can be secure, even if the, the users are anywhere and everywhere. Right. So one more thing which we normally talk about is the SASE is more of a you know, change of a, a security traffic flow to an identity centric solution. So when we talk about SASE, it's a merger of network security and more of an identity. So one of the key component of SASE is ZTNA, right? So which is we normally call it zero trust network architecture. So whenever we talk about SASE, ZTNA is piece of that. So that's the reason it's an identity centric. So these are the so many things and, and that's what it is important that we create a, a environment and that's what all our com customers are looking for. It has to be a client to cloud and kind of experience should be secure, reliable, scalable, and simple. And that's what everyone is looking for. I, I don't know. It's it's a simple explanation or complex, but that no, is no. what I see. Uh, and, and that's what we are looking for, uh, SAS, uh, delivering SASE uh, technology. I think I think you were uh, right to point out that it's important for organizations to secure their environment and their infrastructure and their network. I think that was uh, precisely mentioned by you. Uh, the other thing is, you know, oh, fine, we need to have SASE in place. But what are the things that one needs to bear in mind? What organization needs to bear in mind when buying SASE? What are the things they need to keep in mind? Yeah, it's a very good question uh, you have asked uh, the reason is when we are talking about uh, because it's a new technology whenever we are talking about sassy a uh, lot of our customers are they don't know what exactly is this sassy because there is a two component one is a sassy and one is a sse so uh, and, and people get often get confused you know which one i should go what exactly SASE? What is SSE? So SSE is simple, which is a secure service edge, and what is SASE is a secure access service edge. So, so to 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 my customers, what normally what I I see is you need to understand or you need to define what you want based on your requirement, right? You define and you decide what you would exactly you're looking for. Are you looking for a cloud and SaaS integration? 
Are you looking for a device posture as assessment? Are you looking for a risk-based authentication? Are you looking for unmanaged device support? Are you looking for a legacy application support? Are you looking for SD1? Right? So, so many things, if you see, based on that, because whatever I have just, just listed down, right? Everything is available in SSE except SD1. Whenever, when if you need even SD1, that means you are converging security and networking, then you need SASE. So based on your requirement, you decide, don't get confused, uh, right? Or, or else it will be more complex because it's entirely depend on what suits you. And then you decide your networking solutions. Right, right. Absolutely. It's the requirement that drives the, the, exactly. uh, you know, the demand that you really need in terms of SASE, what exactly you would require, the configurations. Uh, having said that, sir, um, you know, the last thing that uh, we'd like to understand is, you know, where is the SASE market headed from here? What are the trends that will really shape this market going forward? Yeah, as I said, right, it's a, it's a market which is demanding the SASE or SSE. The reason is basically now everyone is working remote or everyone is working from anywhere and everywhere. So the, when when this is growing and we we all know this is the net new norm, right? People are now do not want to go back to office. Everyone would like to work because it's a productivity is important. Looking at this situation, this will grow. So as per the data is saying, 2023 market, uh, the global market was up for SASE was almost uh, 1.8 billion, whereas the growth is 26% CAGR. So by 2030 or 31, the projected growth is 14.4 billion. That's what the market is saying. But what we are seeing is there is a huge growth. When we are talking to customers, almost every customer is looking for hybrid environment and securing their remote employees. I think this is this is the new norm and there will be a growth. So, of course, data is there, but I think it will be beyond the data, right? I think there will be a lot of exponential growth coming in this, sec in this sector or in this business. Right. And which are the verticals that are going to be really driving this growth? Or any specific verticals? I think, I think uh, maybe, you know, almost every vertical will definitely drive, especially the, the jobs where you can do your job remotely, right? Anything. I think, see, there is a multiple ways we can think it can be. Uh, like IT, ITES is definitely, then there is a multiple other, like a services job can be, you know, uh, can be uh, getting benefited here. Like all, all these, the backend operations, a any job, I think, you know, it's a very, very dif uh, difficult to tell, okay, which vertical will take the advantage of this, this technology. But I think every techno, every organization is taking advantage. Now, what I'll give you a simple example, even manufacturing, considering manufacturing is required to be at soft flow, right? But even in manufacturing, the, the executives are, are traveling. They need a secure service edge, right? Then they are traveling. They need a data. So they are retail segment, right? So you need your, not only the manufacturing or soft floor or assembly line, your retails, your vendors, they need a connectivity, which, is, which has to be a secure. So it's a it's an extended network you need to secure. Your retail customer, your your everyone. I think now, now everyone and is looking for a secure connection. And this is an opportunity for, for them. Right. Absolutely. So clearly, uh, SASE will be a game changer of sorts going forward. Absolutely. Thank you so much, uh, Devashish, uh, for speaking to Digital Tech Media. We thoroughly enjoyed this session. And thank you for uh, shedding more light on the SASE landscape in India and globally. Thanks once again. Thank you so much. Thank you.